Today we're going to unclog a drain. This is a lift and turn style stopper in the bathtub. Used to think that we were stuffing up the drain, found out that this thing collects hair and everything right underneath the little stopper thing. So we're going to take that out, clean it up, and the tub will run swift and clean again. And if you're lucky enough, you've been to Disneyland, and maybe in your tub you'll also have Disneyland Hotel Soap with the nice little mouse ears on top. Get yours today. It's a great place. We gotta get this stopper out of here. We're gonna need a couple tools to get grab a hold of this. If it's not on tight, you can just grab it and turn. But if it's on too tight, you need to grab onto the outside. You don't want to do it too hard because you don't want to damage anything here. And turn it. You just need to turn it enough so you can loosen it up and do the rest by hand. Up comes the top. Bottom is going to stay there. Need a screwdriver for that. There's a little slot in here. Just stick the screwdriver into, turn it, and then just keep turning until the shaft inside the stopper is loose. This may get disgusting. It can be gross. And depending on how long the hair of the people is in your household, you may have more or less of a mess. When it comes out, um, we'll just set that aside, put that in a little bit. Again, you've been warned, this can be disgusting, but the needle nose pliers work well, so you don't have to use your fingers to dig in here. And you'll see all the hair and stuff. And more will come out than you think is there if your tub's getting slow. It's a good project. For your little one, once you maybe let them watch this video and then let them go to town on it. That's what I told my daughter. <laughs> so I'm going to make the video. And next time, you can do it. We'll see how well the video works. I got cleaned up. I'm going to get some of the leftover hair out of the way. And then we're pretty much ready to put it back together. Probably want to do this pretty regularly so that any big clumps don't go further down the drain and cause more trouble if you have to do that. You know, that's another video. <laughs> uh, but we're going to put it back together. Pretty much repeating our process. Put this in. Use a screwdriver. Clean it up. Put the cap back on. Screw that back in place. Use the tool again just to make sure it's tight. Don't have to be too tight. Get the tools out of the way. Hopefully we drain. Yeah, we got a good drain. Hope this helps. Clean it out regularly. All right. Thought we'd just run a little more water through the drain, make sure it's good and clear. And if you go do your own uh, tile work, we didn't videotape this job. It's been a while now, but encourage you to go paint your own tile and create your own artwork in your bathroom. So let's run some water through this to make sure everything's good and clean. Good. We got the little tornado action going. Nice, clean, smooth sounding drain. Next time, maybe I'll actually clean the tub before we videotape.